Okay, so this is the beginning of Unit 2, and the Unit 2 is about trigonometric function, functions. And specifically this lesson, which in our book corresponds to 5.1 for today, is all about angles and degree measure. So, angles and degree measure. First, we have to review some different ideas, a little bit different from when you had geometry. So that should be looking very much like an angle to you. And just like in geometry, this point where the two rays join, the two endpoints of the rays, is referred to as a, I'll give you a hint, is the vertex. And this is where we have a departure. Um, this thing is referred to as the initial side, or can be. And if that's the initial side, this will be called the terminal side. And that's because now the direction which we measure the angle is important. It matters. So in this case, if this is the initial side and this is the if this is the initial side and this is the terminal side, then I'm measuring the angle in this direction. If I measure an angle in the counterclockwise direction, this results in a positive angle, or a positive measure, I should say. If I measure it in the negative direction, for instance, if I have another angle here, and this is its initial side, and I measure in that direction. That would be a negative, for instance, uh, 39 degree angle, because this would be its terminal side. And I'm now measuring in the clockwise direction. So clockwise results in a negative measure. Positive and negative measure. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Now, why is that? Um, back in geometry, when you were measuring the angles of, let's say, a triangle, we weren't concerned about any angles that had a me negative measure. We were only concerned with angles that had a positive measure. We were measuring triangles, the interior angles of triangles, the exterior angles of triangles, etc. Um, now. We're going to be measuring angles in the Cartesian coordinate system. And in that situation, x-axis, y-axis, we can have negative measures for angles. So for instance, uh, I'm going to place the vertex of this red angle at the origin. And I've placed that side on the x-axis. And if I'm measuring from here upwards, that side would be called the initial side. And in fact, if that's my angle, and let's say that's 67 degrees, that's a positive 67 degrees. If I were to place this green angle, also with its initial side along the x-axis, its vertex at the origin, and its terminal side out here. And let's say that its measure is 121 degrees. As a positive 121 degrees, and it has its initial side on the x-axis and uh, vertex at the origin. This position that these angles are placed in the Cartesian coordinate system is referred to as the standard position, where I place the initial side on the x-axis and the vertex of the angle at the origin. If I have this blue angle with its initial side, but it is opening downwards, or I'm measuring it from the initial side to the terminal, I'm hoping you would recognize that that is now a negative angle. So let's say that one's negative 68 degrees. And then if I do this black one, from here to here, that might have an ang a measure of negative 
162 degrees, or something to that effect. Okay. So that's the ten percent, the standard position in the Cartesian coordinate system. So that's some background information. So we're speaking the same language.